Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will let you know how we can create a Compose UI. First of all, you need Android Studio installed in your system. Kindly download and install it if you have not installed it yet. If you have Android Studio installed, then open Android Studio and click on New Project. After clicking on New Project, choose Empty Compose Activity Material 3. This will create a new project with Empty Compose Activity. Then you have to write the name of the application. You can change the package name also. After adding the name, you can click Finish. It will create a new project with Empty Compose Activity which will have already some of the Compose methods like set content, greeting, default preview. You can see annotations like composable, preview with show background equals to true. If I change it true to false, then you can see there is a change in design. It will remove white background from the preview. But I am keeping show background true for now. You can see greeting method is called two times. One is in default preview and second one is under set content. In both called methods, we are passing Android. Let's change the value of default previews greeting method. You can see there is a change in design as well. Values in the design are changing instantly whenever I am updating them. Let's run this project in emulator as well. I have already created an emulator. I am starting it. After that, we will run this application. You can check this on a physical device if you want to. My emulator has started and it is now installing the application. Emulator is a good option if you are facing issues while attaching a physical device. Application is installed and you can see hello android written on the emulator. Now if I change the value of set contents greeting, you can see the changes on the emulator's values. But there is no change on design which is showing in IDE. It is still displaying hello android. This is because we have preview annotation on default preview method. So its values are displaying in design. Any changes made in the set contents greeting will not update default preview. The text we are able to see because of this text component. Here text equals to hello and name. That is why we are able to see hello world and hello android. We have not called default preview anywhere. So let's call it and see what happens. We have to rerun the project to see the changes. It may take some time because application has to reinstall in the emulator. It will build the project again. After building the project, it will install the application in the emulator. You can see overlapping of text because we are passing different values to same function from different places. Default preview is added just to show the working of preview annotation in the Jetpack Compose. With preview annotation, we can see the design side by side within the IDE. In this video, we have learned how we can create a Jetpack Compose project. We have learned about preview annotation, text component, checking the design within the Android Studio IDE. I hope this video will help you.